Hello, this is Kevin Olson from TextLearn.com and welcome to lesson 6.8 of the Intro to Java series. In this lesson, we will be discussing array input and output. So to save an array to a file, we're going to use delimiters. And delimiters are characters which are used to separate entities in a list of data. Common types of delimiters include commas, quotation marks, new lines, brackets, parentheses, anything that you would use to kind of group things together. So in the example that I have over there to the left, you can see we have the numbers 10, 27, 72, 43, and 89. So just pretend that that is an array for now. And what we're going to do is create a program which saves that array to a text file in the format 10, 27, 72, 43, 89. So all the program is going to do is take an array of integers, save it to a file using that format with the delimiters, and then we will create another program which will load the contents of that file back into a new array, and it will use the delimiters to distinguish one piece of data or one element from another. So let's take a look at Eclipse and start working on an exercise. open up Eclipse here and I'm just going to create a new Java project. I'm going to call it 6 underscore 8 and we will add a test class to that. Array IO test and we will give this a main method. Okay so the first thing we're going to have to do is create the array that we want to save. So just for an example we're going to have an integer array called int array and we're going to give it some values, and I'm just going to use 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So now we have an integer array with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 different elements. And we are going to try to save that to a file. So we have a try catch. We're catching the exception E. And when that gets caught, we just use e .print stack trace. So the first thing we're going to have to do is convert this array into a string that follows the format with the comma. So it's just going to look like 10, 20, 30, and so on. So create the string. And to do that, we can use a for each loop. So we're going to use for each integer i in the int array. And we'll also have to create a string, so we'll call this string array, and CSV stands for comma separated values, and we'll just leave that as empty for now. And then we will do array CSV plus equals I plus comma. So this is just going through that array of integers and adding them to this string with a comma between each element. And all we have to do is save that array to file. So we'll have to create a file output stream. And I will call this FOSS equals new file output stream. And we will give that a file called savedarray.txt. So that is where we are saving our array. And I have to import file output stream from Java IO. Use the quick fix and that's taken care of. And we will have an output stream writer out right equals new output stream writer fast. So we're putting that file output stream into the output stream writer. And then we can use this output stream writer to write our line of the array. So out right dot write, and we are going to write the string to that file. So we write the string with the comma separated values to the file. Then we can just go and flush that, outright.flush, outright.close, and then we close FOSS. So we take care of closing everything, and we can print out a message that says system out print line file saved. Okay, so let's test this out, give it a run. And it says file saved, so we successfully saved that file. Let's take a look at the file. 
in the workspace project folder and we can see we have saved array.txt and that contains the numbers 10 through 100 that we had in that array. So we successfully saved that array of integers to a file. And now what we're going to try to do is load that string array back into the program as an int array. So we're going to take that string, nope, let's put that try back in there. Take that string, we're going to read that string from the file. We're going to use the delimiter to determine each individual element and we're going to put that into an array of integers again. So we're going to try to open the file. So let's open that stream. So file input stream fis equals new file input stream and the file name was saved array.txt so we're opening that file up. We're going to have an input stream reader in read equals new input stream reader fis and we have to import the file input stream and we have to import that input stream reader. So now those are taken care of and we can get rid of the writer and the output stream because we're not using those anymore for this part of the example. So save that. Okay, so we have the file input stream this and the input stream reader in read. And let's also use a buffered reader so we can use that next line or method. So buffered reader buff read equals new buffered reader and we're just going to put the input reader in there in read and I have to import that buffered reader as well. Okay so now we can go ahead and get that line from the file. So string array csv is going to equal to buff read dot read line not next line my bad. So we read that line from the file and because it's the only line in the file we don't have to worry about doing a try catch because we're only going to read that one line there. And then we close everything so buff read dot close in read dot close and fist dot close. So we close all those readers and streams so that is taken care of. Now what we're going to do is split the string into an array of strings so what we can use is the split method of the string class. So we will use string string array equals array csv dot split, and then we pass this a argument of comma. So we are going to split this array by commas, and the split method will automatically it'll give us this array. So now we have a string array where each element in that string array is going to be the integer value. So now we have, we've essentially gone from a, in our first program we wrote the, we wrote the integer array into the file as one line. And now we are loading that line back into the program using this read line. So now the whole line all the array is in this array CSV string and then we use this split method of the string and we put that into a string array. So now it's going to be string, string, so the first element in that string is going to contain 10, the second element is going to contain 20, and so on. So all that is left is for us to convert string array into int array. So now we're going to convert that array of strings into an array of integers. So we're going to just do int int array equals new int and we're going to give this the size of the string array. So string array dot length because we want it to be the same size as that string array. So we have an array of strings and we're just converting that into an array of integers. We can do that using a for loop. So for int i equals zero, i is less than string array dot length and i increments by one each time. So we're going through each element in the string array and we're just going to convert it into an int and put it into the int array. So to do that we can say int array, the index i is equal to integer dot parse int and we pass that the string. So string array at element i. 
and that parse int function simply converts that string into an integer for us. And now we have an array of integers called an array. So we've gone from, we've gone through everything now. So all that's left is for us to make sure it works. So let's print out contents of the int array. And we can do that using a for each loop again. So for int i in int array. So for each integer i in int array, we use system out print line i. So we'll just print out print out all the elements in that integer array. So let me just sum that up again. We imported the buffered reader, the file input stream, and the input reader. We opened up the file. We read the first line into a string called array CSV. We closed all those readers and input streams. Then we created a string array with the array that's or with the split method, and we used a comma as our delimiter. So that split the array or that split the that whole line that string into an array of strings. Then we converted that array of strings into an array of integers, and then we print out the integer array. So let's try that and see if it works. And lo and behold, it did work. So you can see that it printed out all the contents of that file, and that means that we were successfully able to use that integer array. So now everything's back where it started in that integer array. So that is how we can save and load integers with a text file in Java. Now, we are going to discuss different ways of saving objects later in the series, but not quite yet. I want to get into object-oriented programming first so we can learn a little bit more about how objects work. That's going to be in the next topic, topic 7 of the Intro to Java series. We're going to be learning about object-oriented program programming, so it's going to be a lot of fun. Thanks for watching, and I hope you learned something. Take care.